sick. Yes. We'll be going through some uh, basic uh, looking elements like to the peak and some um, walks like in a grand circle and then some fancy turns. But most of the time we will be trying to recognize where our frame is directed and how the stability of the frame stabilization is helping us for change of direction and uh, yeah learning the, about this muscle tone and muscle linkage from legs to the ribs to the oblique and psoas so you will be much more internal in organizing your change yeah well stick please morning rep Yes, I played one of the cheerleader moves, the orchestra moves for you. Okay, so what we'll try to think first, we're not taking the stick far out. We want to think that it stays closer to our body because the placement of your uh, triceps of your arms supposed to be a little more pulled towards your back and when you will be pressing like you want to squeeze your stick in like you want to close it like a something telescopic at this point i expect we're going to discuss it a little articulation so when i'm pressing in i'm activating my rhomboids and my lats and they kind of pressing my chest a little bit out and up so what else is important here when it will be changing i i will be very unhappy to see this kind of twists because from the moment uh-huh maybe hold it a little bit wider so when you will be turning you think that the through the pressure to the stick it become uh, think like this if we visualizing as um, a hard stick pierced from one elbow through the torso to another elbow. So it means if the stick is moving, the line from shoulder to shoulder, this segment is moving as much, turning as much. We don't want our arms to turn more than, than this segment. So this area supposed to move into the turn as much as my stick yeah maybe this is a, 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 a good formula i the line of your collarbones twisting as much as your stick so let's just do it a few times so uh baby in up so so it's a little connected pelvic forward and so maybe i see a little bit of this if your collarbone line cannot go further then don't go further with your arm. When there will be no stick, like when there will be no frame, it is of course possible. For now, we're thinking more about the frame. So this is your limit. If you cannot turn more with your um, chest, don't turn more with the stick. And now turning in reverse and only, yes, only turn the stick as much as you can turn your, uh, yes, okay, so Suzanne, pelvis stable, bra to the right, to the right, to the right, good. Can you press your shoulder blades down to lift your bra? Yes, nice, and try to start with pressing a little bit forward with your pelvis, and then do the change. So if you see I'm doing sideways to you, this is my rotation. Yes, passing. One, 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 good. Yes, 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 just a few more times. Yeah, super. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Marilyn, I would like to, to, so I see how your biceps of this part going further than this. So look, the moment you press under the stick, 
you organize so your shoulder blade and your elbow are not separating so much. Yes. If you want to twist, go deeper into the belly and develop this. That's beautiful. Don't go more than this. Your partner would really appreciate if the frame is a, the touch in your hand is supported by the shape of your ribcage. Getting to our combination will be simultaneity. Legs together, right up to the right. Weight on the left, and using the left corner of your stick to twist into it and do your kicking action. And now press to the right arm and hold it in place for the closing. Now use your right arm to turn and step back. And now press into your right arm and close. And repeat. Press into the left, feel it, and hit. Press into the right, close. Press into the left, out. Change weight and press into the right, close. Yeah? The one more time, starting. To wind up to the right. Feel that the weight is shifting to your left foot uh, invisibly for everyone, just for you. Give it a kick. Use your right arm to close. Change your weight to the right to pivot and go back. Push. And have a sense of axis on your left foot to pivot and reverse. Yeah? Ready? A little bit faster. Seven, eight, or oh, one, and uh, two, and uh, three, four. And again. Five, six, seven, eight, or oh, one, and uh, two, and uh, three, and uh, four. Not bad. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, or oh, one, and uh, two, and uh, three. Four. Yes. Beautiful shape. Marilyn, I, I don't know what's, what you had for breakfast. Uh, maybe some Spanish chorizo. <laughs> or what is this? Uh, we have some uh, Mediterranean cachapa. <laughs> so your shape is really, really nice. I like to see this curve. Shape and also uh, like very connected muscle. Um, the, the tricky part here is one of the trickiest is when we need to move back. So, how let's try to figure out that we can keep all our twists and when bending, we can use the strength of the leg and pushing our whole spine away before closing. So the common mistake is that it will compromise in the stepping. So this position would be hard to, to recover from. So be sure that when you're doing this, you enjoy the challenge of being open in your right uh, pecs and frame and still find the freedom in your left thigh to turn out so let's try to feel this that on the moment when we're stepping back we feel like inside our body the counter twisting is developing and as soon as it's arriving on the leg boom, it's ready to close so this is one part of my twisting and this is another part of my twisting hello welcome no problem Join us, we have a uh, uh, Sorry, I'm with you again. We're stepping back. And if you look at the line of my waist, it is still developing to the left. And as I'm Thing. I'm trying to 
that I felt to be doing different way to you. You see that this muscle is still working upon arrival. Yeah. So this is what you need to preserve. And then the stretch was beautiful. Yes, Ronnie, good. Ready? So twist it and going back and pivot. Super, that's good. You all have a moment of sharp acceleration in the end of the step when you're twisting. And this is a product of, as always, two ingredients. Weight placement. It was not too far back, not too far forward. It was right on this uh, bouncy ball of the foot. And second ingredient was wire it up. So then you can go back. Yeah? Good. We'll, we'll do just one. Yeah, I'll be doing with you. So the moment of the is on the basic passive elements. I'll just do a couple more times with you, winding up to the left. And I'll wait on the right when you're kicking and closing and you're pivoting and stepping back with your left, changing weight and closing this way. And repeat. Kick, close, turn back, step, close. Yeah? Good. What's next in our combination? We'll do it twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when you're doing it twice, the only little tricky moment is when you need to stay on the same leg for two counts. So you're changing one, changing, and here you're closing, but you're not changing. You're waiting to be still on your left for the following kick. Yeah? Ready. And kick, close, back step, close, kick, close, back step, close. Wonderful. Get it. Ah. What's next? We'll do a walks in the circle uh, in a rhythm of one, two, single step, three, four, single step, five, six, seven. Three regular steps. So we finish seven, three. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your stick should be in a line between the camera and, and the back wall. Now you hold it like this to so turn inside and do a press line or with the right foot. Press line, and now you use your press line to unwind the stick all the way around, and then use it to get to another press line on the left. Yeah? So let's do it again the second piece. Frame goes to the left, and we walk in diagonally to the right, but the frame is here on the left. One walk, another walk. Three more walks. Bring your stick on a straight line from camera to the back wall. Yes, and you are on your left leg, Jim. Yeah, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left. And again. Yes, I was right. Left. Right, left, right, left, using the frame to pass in the press line, turn the stick, and then finish in this. Let me do sideways so you have a little more idea about the line development. This is my last step. And when I'm turning, I'm also checking how much into the press line I can go. Now, as I'm developing my frame around, I can go over my foot and start collecting. And I'll use the pressure between the stick and my left hand to turn myself into another lunge. Yeah? So, one more time, you're staying over the left with the stick all the way around. Now, we're not just pivoting, but we're also lunging into the step. 
Yes, lunging. And as we're building up, we unfolding and then finishing the turn. So if you give, give a, a, just a few more looks, I guess the, the moment, the tricky moment is right in the middle where I allow my standing foot to start pivoting. And when I allow my back leg to start moving, if I will be just totally like this, it would be fun. I could manage it, but it would look elegant. So the key moment for you to feel that there is a moment of the speaking, uh, sorry, rising your leg and pivoting a little bit. So allow your brain to go further so you can move away from it. Basically, you can approach it this way. Yes, Deborah, correct. Pivot as much as you need to bring the stick to its initial position. So if you know you will get the screen and your stick is on the right. You want to move it all the way around and then you can start pivoting until your stick will get to this same position. And then we'll will accelerate the rest of the turn. Yes. That's it, good. So, one more time. 
the wolf, he would have lunch on the right, spiral, thing on the left. Stay, close, and I'll keep doing full circle all the way to the left. Sleevo, and down. One more time, please. So we finish. Press line and spiral with the lady on. Rain, wet, and now frame 360. Sleeve will inside the stick and pull the stick to your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the rope was there. Stay like this. The arm, which is behind your right one, will go a little bit up to be to be directly behind the leg. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, Maybe just need to be done facing the camera. So let's check again. After the walks, we have our stick on the right side of our body. Lunge to the camera for your right foot. Stick around, stick on the right, lunge to the left. Change weight, left, right, left. The stick is on the left. Now it's able to look away from the camera. And now we turn one thing to the face of camera. So if I'll just give you a presentation, I hope I will look this up. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so I think it is fun because you'll have you are restricted, and also the stick guides you to not do one thing or another, but know that the frame and passer need to feel more wholesome. And the uh, skill of reaching further in your twist to get a better reward of more spacious pollen rotation is a very nice thing to develop. It's your mobility in the spine and, uh, and expressiveness of the following elements of the elements where a wind up rewarding you with a powerful breathe. Ready? I know, I know, we need to do it a few more times. Our, is it better for you if I go like this or like that? Along the screen, okay, no, the same as you need. I'll just comment what I'm doing. So, left, right, left, right, left. Stickers here. Now, press line, spiral lunge into your left. A long, beautiful lunge without the full weight coming. The next would be weight, this. And stick all the way to the left. Use the stick to pull your glutes together for the sharp change. Look, and the last is the stick. So, what's here? You're learning how to turn, but reserve your energy. So, so turning all out. I have a powerful message, but because of this, Stick behind me and the arm across. I'm keeping it from becoming wild. I'm telling you I'm angry, but I'm not screaming at you. I'm just giving you uh, an idea that if you make me more angry, then you'll, you'll receive your punch. Yeah? Great. Five, six. Seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah? Great. I do two more times and then I'll start looking at you or answering your questions. And you read, bring on the left, walk, 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 use a stick to accelerate, please. Spiral, lunge on your left, brain, twist, brain, cerebral, can't get stick on the left. Yes. Of course, the angle can be different, but you might think of getting yourself deeper into the spinning so that the line of your arm is goes exactly to have your stick looking up. Doesn't really matter, but think how you can go a little bit deeper with your arm around your back. Are we clear? Or oh, one more time? One more time. Yes. Let's do it. Now I'm holding my legs. Yeah. Left, right, left, right, left, twist, press over the right, spiral, lunge over the left, left, right, left, spiral over the right, sit. Over the right. Yeah, let's do it. Just give it a test drive and then I comment if I see good or bad. Ready? Seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the stick is all the time on the left side of your head. On the left, on the left, on the left, on the left, on the left. Ready. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, yes, good. Uh, okay, eight. <laughs> seven is your last walk, eight is your lunch. So, Think how so this position is um, a conflict of forces. So you you're moving out and the brain turns you in. Like remember when I explained about the how the satellites are not falling down to the earth. They flying at the speed of I believe 27 kilometers per second. And every time gravity pulls them down, the vector becomes an orbit. The speed will be higher, the satellite will fly out. The speed will be slower, the gravity will drop them down to the Earth. So keep your keep play with the speed of your satellite and with your gravity. So the amount of movement of your stick is like a gravity. And the power of push from your leg is your the speed of the satellite. And you playing between two, making orbit bigger or smaller. Ready? Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Ready. Let's let's keep doing it little by little. I need to leave you alone for a second, so you you start doing it from inside, not from outside. Ready? Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Spiral. One, two. Very nice. Everybody meeting on two. Please, everybody, let's meet on count two. Forward lunge over your left. Now on your left, on your left, and then on your left. So this is one. Do again. If you're staying on your right leg, on your right lunge, it means you before the spiral. So seven, eight, right leg in front. One, two, left leg in front. 
Yes, this is two. Everybody meeting on two. Now, sticks around three. Now, closing your legs together and, and now sticks all the way, 360. And lunge over the left leg forward. Yes, correct, correct, Suzanne, correct. Three and four. Yes, three and four. A four, put your weight. So it's not lunge anymore, it's a, it's a weight commitment. Ah, uh, uh, two, three, and four. So you need to be in this position, four because this way you need to operate faster. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, when well, you release the roll cap. So let's begin. Left leg forward, three and four. Yes, now here. Open your left hand. Left hand, open. Yes, right one, turning the stick under you. Yes, that's it. That's it. Okay, again, lunge forward on count two. Two, your left leg in front. Two, and now stick, close, forward. Now hold the stick, seal the side, and turn. Yes. Ready, starting on one, lunge over the left, uh, over the left, two, yeah. And now we're ready to go three and four. Three, two, three, that's it, Deborah, good. Yes, Jean, good, Suzanne, good, uh, Marilyn, yes, Bonnie, just you need to do one, one more 180. Yes, so let's start again on count two. Two, leg in front, and you go. Ready, place it over the left, keep, uh, twist, and now friend goes again all over the left. Three, three, zero, okay. Good. Ready. Yeah, yeah, Gina, I start, I start being afraid of the stick pointing right at the camera. <laughs> Ready. Uh, two, forward lunge, yes, and three and four. On four, all the way, yes. Now we see them inside the stick, yes. Uh, good. Yes, correct, and look correct. But don't forget this extra circle, yeah. One, two, three, and four. Yes, five, six. Okay, we're getting close to, to actually give it some flow. Starting on two. Yes, two. Good, good, good. Yes. And three and four. Five, six. Yep. Yes. Good, good, good. Yeah, I know it's a little puzzle there. <laughs> no, 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 baby. No, 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 no. So we stay on two. And think that at this point, like like a little Tasmanian devil who starts spinning in place. Yeah, da, da. that's it. Okay, let's do it again. Stay on two and think of Tasmanian devil and goes three, yeah, four, right, five, six. Yeah, the transition of the three steps into Svivo. It's, it's a tricky one, but once you get there, you know, okay, 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 Ready, again, left leg in front. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Over there, just, I forget to ask you all to send me a text with a, a kind of waiver. The release of liability that if you get hurt by a stick, I'm not responsible. <laughs> okay, ready again from count one, oh sorry, two. Lunge forward over your left. Lunge, yes, it may be a little deeper forward, back like a straight, yes. Ready, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Uh -huh. Four, baby, you didn't put your weight on four. It was a, a press line. 
you need a way forward because on five, you already need to pivot on this foot. Exactly. So four, wait, uh, place, not mark, place. Ready, one more time. On count four, and okay. I don't need to show you understand what I'm saying. Ready. One and two and three and four and five, six. Yes. On which count your stick moves the biggest angle? On which count? Show me on your fingers. Okay, so Marilyn have the right answer. Uh, Jean have the wrong answer. Okay. So, so on three, our stick moves 180. Ta -da, ta -da. Three and on four, our stick moves 360. So it's count four. Think of it that on three it's intense, but on four it's even more intense. So look again if I'm doing it facing you. Three and four. So I have half of the, the, the half of the turn, three and four. And I have full turn and four. What we need to be confident about this. Very good, Susan. Yes. Look what's important. When I'm doing my three, look carefully. I am placing my next step as far into the rotation as possible. So instead of just having some comfortable position, I make it uncomfortable. So it gives me a bigger leverage for the last pivot. So on Three and really go into the stick as much as you can. Ready? One, two, three, and four. All of this. Make your hand like you closing the gloves. Three and so this is a way for creating pushes. So you can try the gloves. Okay, so three and four. That's it. Ready. On four, we're claiming the ground, not touching it, not testing. Ready. One and two and three and four. That's it. Five, six. Yes, is that yet? <laughs> Overwhelmed. She's stuck in a vicious circle. <laughs> So then, wonderful tweets. Just whoop to the last one, get over this. Okay, let's leave this with space. Yeah. Uh -huh, baby, separate the last two. Whoa. Whoa. So use a stick to show me last swivel. Yeah. And then, wow. yes, I need to throw the swivel. Great. Right. From one, two, last time before we put it all together. Two, lunge forward on your left. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Yep, yeah, yeah, almost there. And let's do from the walks and then we'll do from the feet. And then we are one, two. Before we discuss what I do, then we want to say that when we're grabbing the stick, we imagine that this is visualization of how the image of the stick goes from one angle through the chest and to another angle. So the line will be colorful, comfortable, as much as this. So for example, when you do like this, you know this line. You want to impress it to the line when you stick. Okay, but this is exactly as your other goal in mind. So when you train, you want to avoid this. You see my power is in here, but my stick is there. I want to keep on training 
I want to stick together with my circle. Three, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? I'll do one more time. Can you just do it on the opposite side? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, ready from the walk split. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Yeah, good, good. Um, Getting well, it's a tricky combination and you really uh, gluing it together. Jim, can I ask you to fold it wider? You're getting like this and I think that your presentation of this line can be much more monumental. Serious, important. Yes, you are a little bit like... Um, um, a speed rowing on your canoe. Okay, ready. Five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Okay. So I just will ask Jim. Did you feel any difference? Yeah, because now every twist of your hip was much sooner evoking resistance. Like this, I was just saying, what kind of fun I'll tell you. So if there is no resistance here, look what I can do. I can still hold the stick in the same place, and this is how far I can turn. But if I put some resistance here, maybe this far, but if you can do like this, then you're compromising some of the presentation importance of your check. So, okay, ready. We'll try to get in the sense of the flow. So one flow is in your spiral. Um, a one, two, and it was three and four, five. Ready, five, six, Seven, eight, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Almost there, almost there. On five, I'm checking how your speed is not moving. Uh, three, four, five, six, it was here on the top five. So give me a stability of your elbow line and chest line before you do the last movement. Um, if you fall uh, somewhat comfortable, I'm not showing. So please do it so I can see your sideways because I really want to see how your lunges and twists look from a side. So everybody start facing the right side of your room. Yes. So all of your lunges will go towards the right side of the room. You do the same as you. Five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 
three and four, five, six. Okay, Suzanne, very good, approved. <laughs> Teddy is approved, she gave up. Let's all play here and shake here, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, Again, because too many moving elements. I'll do it quickly, but let's start in, in the reverse order. So, Marion, you go first. I'm just looking at one of you at a time. Ready. Uh, you can do the things, but I'm just, I think we can all give attention to one another. Marilyn, it's your time. Yes. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Okay, almost there. Just commenting. Yeah, the one we'll be doing last will have all the, all the cues, but have all the loaded kind of information. Seven, eight. So arriving into the last step, which is a little more complex because it's not enough. I want to see how you're presenting a little more space, pivoting and getting into the lunch. So think of this volume and depth, yeah? And one little thing, um, maybe the last element, when you get three and four, it's to say what we did in church. Your next movement is in your left, Keep. Yes. So you have a leverage from your left arm to pivot your body. Yes. And then do the following element. Because you was kind of doing something, but you was supposing your free leg just climb around. No, the free leg is, is just a follower. So your standing leg needs to be the one for doing it. Okay, Pony, you are my next anti-clockwise performer. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Almost there, almost there. Up. What you can up is being a little more grounded. So when you need to use your base to move the stick, it's originating a little lower in your waistline. You have all the good direction, but there was a little bit army from arms rather than Corey <laughs> from the core. Yes, yes, yes. So if this goes a little bit, yes, 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 yes. That, that, that's it, that's it. So going a little bit out means you will not be preparing the energy of resistance and the ribs in this area between the ribs and the and the pelvis. Okay, Jim, your turn. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Again, we'll give you another chance. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Five, six. Yes, very good, very good. Um, so one little thing where you can a few little things. If you think of mm, building up the sense of core set a little bit higher, so then turning inside the core set. 
can look a little more dimensional, a little more physically engaged. You, with your natural flexible soft joints, this 90 degree twist, you went through it, but it didn't look like there is a, a boiling inside. It looked a very accurate shape, but for us, we need just a little more substance, a little more nostril kind of, yeah? And you need to give a little more tightness to this area here, 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 so that twisting at 90 degree goes not so easy for you. Uh, a little difficult because you are tighter here. And the other little thing, so when you, I'm hoping that if you press it further a few more times, that we can have a little more spring energy, seven, eight, one, two. So you see, I'm risking to go up of my toe and as I'm winding up, what I'm doing, I'm having this leg in the air, risking a little bit with my life. I think at this time we warmed up enough. So again, where is it? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. All of us can do it, just Jim, it's something I'm expecting you to do more regular. And the last piece with you was missing. Whoa, one, two. One, two, three. Let's all check one little thing. We stay in this press line. Let me put my camera a little bit down. We stay in the press line on two. Um, on the left of this. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Hold the foot on the front. Let's do it. Now, the weight change goes so right like this. Down. I'm placing my heel and I'm turning myself into one, two, three. So you, I see so far that this simplicity of reaching the floor was like a little doubtful. One, two, two. Yes. It's not obvious because we used to go somewhere, but here we need to Go to the floor first. Watch. Done. Yeah? Good. Okay. Up. Never. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Ooh, almost there. Six. Yes, yes, of course you can do one more time. Yes, that way. <laughs> but this one will be faster. So be sure to turn your core and link all your twists. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six. Yep. Yep, yep, almost there. So I know it's a tricky transition. Seven, uh, one, two, one. So let's all try it on two. We're staying with a deep lunge and a lot of delay in our arms. And how this movement really, okay, look at me again. Look everyone, down to the floor. Yeah, da, da, da. yes, so. Press line kind of keeps us slightly off. One. Yeah. Da, da, da. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Remember, yes, and once you do the swivel, don't wobble. Three and four, five. Maximum little uh, flossing, but not lifting up and down. Yes, that's good. And okay, last thing. Can we feel that we're turning our belly? How much? Uh, 118. Yeah. 
the second. Why I feel more volume in my movement than I see in your movement. Can we please hold our head like we're pressing into our left, I'm oh, sorry, into our right cheek all the way. Da, 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 da. Uh, no, it, it's on the right. It just, it just stays. It just stays in a same. Sorry. Yeah, it's not really to, to like think where you're pressing, it's just the same exact thing as we did before. It's a little complication with the stick and everything, but in the end. It's a frame goes next to a stable head. So the moment when I'm done with all of this, my head, you see when I'm doing it. Oh, got it. Five, six. Pretty much when my arm already done with everything, then I'm turning my head. Last moment. Okay, Suzanne, your turn. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Wonderful, very nice. All the order is clear. Getting more confident with this sequence, you can start applying some. <sighs> Contraction a little more accelerated, I know, a little speedy. Everything was in the right order. The energy was a little more even than we need for expressive pass. So, like one will be seven, eight. exactly. Yes, very good, very good. And with the last one, just try again. Do all your things and look. Last moment, pivot your foot and your head. Do even later, do the stick, do the arm, but hold your eyes to the balcony. That's it. That was different. As long as you can hold your eyes longer while you do the process, was previous one was better. Okay. Um, and your turn. Uh, just, just go in the middle. So you see everyone so they can see you. Five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Okay, this was almost correct. One thing you can do. Same what I was saying to you. Maybe if you type in this, so please think, can go so easy. I need to see that you're working for every step. That's what you want. Don't go this far because you're moving it. We can press on this stick. This and this become undivided. So you can only turn your torso. Yes, make a step. Down, down, walk, walk. Now, the stick is getting down. Look, the next one, you need to do walk and then take the stick on the right. Down, why not the stick on the right? Leave it on the right. Yes. So yeah. Here. Stick and keep it in place when you open the right. The thing that you're pushing the leg away from the stick. Yes. Stick and push away from the stick. Yes. Let's try this little thing before we finish. When we get into the lunge, first one. One. And then you can push your left leg out. Away from the stick. So I have my left hand strongly supported. 
and then I'm pushing my leg out from the stick. So one, two. Yes. One, two. Yes, Deborah, good. Yes, Suzanne, very nice. Yes, good, good, very good. Uh, so, and do one more time for you from the beginning. Five. Yes, good correction. So, this and this moving together. So, you just do one. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, yes, three and four. Good, five, zero. Five and six. Super. Super. Generally, for parts, we need to feel this. So, to, to support your step in the screening, we need to do more. So now, your right hand is a little bit released. We need to have the butt under and see if we can hold ourselves very well. So, one of the exercises we need to be doing sometime, just a little bit of. My right shoulder, I'll just imitate it with the floor. So, in a uh, chair, it might can be like that. I can throw my bar, or I can pick it up. So, like if I use one leg, another leg. So, some of the work you're doing here is similar to your passive discipline. If you like, you can try the same on the floor. So, when you get you ready, this is your. Condition of working. Oh, yes. So heels on, heels, heels on the floor. Maybe yes, heels on the floor. Heels on the floor, but off the floor. Yes. And now just carefully take one leg up, like you're doing a walk, and place it back, and do another one. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. 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 Good. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, Brendan. Looking at you too. Stra uh, can you do on the straight leg just carefully? Straight legs, straight legs, both of them straight. No, no, both of them straight. Now, heels on the floor, but butt off the floor. No, okay, on the straight leg. No, no, on the straight legs. Straight legs. Yeah. Straight legs and shoulders on the floor, but butt off the floor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, 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 yes. So, when you try to keep your butt a little higher, you can slide just a little bit lower the chair, just a little bit lower. Keep only the shoulder weight there, but like like this. Yes. Okay. Great job, ladies. This is a tricky combo. And I think you all feel like you, you almost did it. Yes, I, I, I'm happy that we took the challenge and as much as we <laughs> train our muscles, we also, we also give a good exercise to our brains. Yeah, which part is staying, which one is moving, how they following one another. So well done. Let's take a quick break before our final joyful rumba of the week. <laughs> 